By 2030, the global fighter landscape will be transformed by the rapid evolution of stealth aircraft. Artificial intelligence, long-range sensors, and manned, unmanned teaming. Fifth-generation fighters, built around low observability. Advanced avionics, internal weapons carriage, and sensor fusion will dominate operational fleets. While early sixth-generation prototypes begin shaping future air warfare. The United States leads with battle-tested stealth platforms, but China is aggressively narrowing the gap with massive J-20 production. Russia's Su-57 continues refining its design, while new entrants like South Korea's KF-21 and India's AMCA represent emerging aerospace powerhouses. Our top 10 ranking for 2030 is based on stealth performance, RCS, avionics or AI integration, supercruise, range, payload capacity, production scale, and operational readiness. Here are the fighters that will define air dominance in 2030. Number 1. F-35 Lightning II USA The F-35 remains the most widely deployed stealth fighter in the world. With over 2,500 units, projected by 2030, it features an RCS as low as 0.001 square meters, a top speed of Mach 1.6. Maximum takeoff weight is 31,800 kilograms, combat range of 670 nautical miles, block 4 upgrades, including the AND or APG, 85 radar, enhanced EW systems, and AI-assisted targeting will significantly improve lethality. Although sustainment costs remain its drawback, the F-35's unmatched sensor fusion, global interoperability, and proven combat data secure its position. Number 2. F-22 Raptor Upgraded, USA the F-22, even as an aging platform, will remain the world's premium air superiority fighter. With an RCS of 0.0001 square meters, top speed of Mach 2.25. Maximum takeoff weight is 38,000 kilograms and a combat range of 460 nautical miles. The upgraded fleet will integrate NGD-derived processors and advanced EW suit. Its thrust vectoring engines and supercruise ability make it unbeatable in a dogfight. The only limitation is its small fleet, around 180 aircraft, due to halted production and no export program. Number 3. J-20 Mighty Dragon, China It will be the most rapidly expanding stealth fleet, with 800 to 1,000 units expected by 2030. Powered by the new WS-15 engines, it can reach Mach 2 Plus supercruise and delivers a combat range of 1,100 nautical miles, with maximum takeoff weight around 37,000 kilograms. Its RCS is estimated between 0.02 to 0.1 square meters. The J-20 strengths include long-range BVR engagement, advanced data links, and future integration of hypersonic missiles. While combat experience remains untested, mass production and growing AI capabilities make it a formidable Indo-Pacific challenger. Number 4. Su-57 Felon, Su-57M, Russia. It boasts exceptional maneuverability due to 3D thrust vectoring and a powerful AL-51F1 engine upgrade. It reaches Mach 2, combat range of 670 nautical miles, and has a maximum takeoff weight of 35,500 kilograms. Though stealth performance, RCS 0.1 to 0.5 square meters, trails US and Chinese rivals. By 2030, Russia may field 76 to 100 aircraft. Its strengths lie in agility, internal missile capacity, and AI pilot assist systems. 
While weaknesses include production delays and supply chain constraints due to sanctions. Number 5. KF-21 Boramae Block 3, South Korea. It will transition into a true fifth-gen aircraft with internal weapons bays by the early 2030. With a projected RCS of 0.1M Superscript 2, it reaches Mach 1.81, has maximum takeoff weight 25,600 kg, and a combat range of 540 nautical miles. The KF-21 offers an excellent cost-to-capability ratio, equipped with an indigenous ASA radar and advanced EW suite. Around 120-plus aircraft are expected by 2030. Its primary drawback is its semi-stealth origin, but export potential and affordability make it a rising star. Number 6. India's Amka. Program aims for its first flight around 2028, entering service late in the decade. With a maximum take-off weight 27,000 kilograms, combat range of 870 nautical miles, maximum speed of Mach 1.8, and projected RCS around 0.01 square meters. AMCA will feature super cruise capability, AI-enabled avionics, and metamaterial stealth design. Fleet size may reach 40 to 100 units by 2030. Its main challenges are engine co-development and timelines, but it represents a major leap toward Indian aerospace self-reliance. Number 7. The U.S. Next Generation Air Dominance won't be fully operational by 2030, but early demonstrators will showcase sixth-generation capabilities. Expected to feature less than 0.001 square meters RCS adaptive cycle engines and Mach 2 Plus Super Cruise, it will offer a combat range of 1,000 nautical miles and large internal payload options. With around 10 to 20 prototypes, it serves as a gateway to AI co-pilots and loyal wingman drones. Its biggest limitation is extremely high unit cost. Number 8. GCAP or Tempest, UK, Italy, Japan. It will see early prototypes by the late 2020. It aims for less than 0.01 square meters RCS. Mach 2 plus speed, 1,000 nautical miles range, supporting heavy internal payloads plus drone teaming. Around 5 to 10 demonstrators may fly by 2030. CAP's open architecture design allows rapid upgrades, but major challenges include multinational engineering coordination and an IOC target beyond 2035. Number 9. Turkey's TF Khan is designed as a cost-effective fighter with moderate stealth capabilities. It will feature an RCS of 0.5 to 1 square meter, top speed of Mach 1.8, maximum takeoff weight around 34,750 kilograms, and combat range of 760 nautical miles. Estimated fleet size by 2030 is 20 to 50 aircraft. Its strengths include indigenous ESA radar, multi-role flexibility, and competitive pricing. Number 10. J-35, China, carrier-based. It serves as China's primary carrier-borne stealth fighter by 2030, complementing the J-20. With an estimated RCS of 0.05 square meters, top speed of Mach 1.8, maximum takeoff weight 30,000 kilograms, and combat range around 670 nautical miles. It integrates the new WS-19 engine. Production may exceed 200 units. While its naval role expands China's blue water capabilities, challenges include carrier integration and untested export potential. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about stealth fighters in the comments section.